Let's take a look at uh, types of data. Let's first examine a data set. And here we got an example, employee, job title, age, date of hire, and then we've got employee numbers, go down there. Job titles goes along with them, ages, and then date of hire. Okay, the um, variables are the employee, job title, age, date of hire. For this particular uh, data set, there's three individuals, employee one, employee two, employee three. The data for individual one is accountant, 45, then 115, 2000. Now we got um, two different ways we can uh, classify data. Um, qual qualitative variables, this is where you classify individuals into categories. Um, some things aren't so easy to put into some, a numerical format. Um, for example, uh, hair color. How do you put a number on that? Um, maybe you have blonde, uh, red, redhead, or um, black hair. Um, so you can break them into, into that. There's also quantitative variables. It tells how much or how many of something there is. Uh, age. Uh, you can put a number to it. And uh, the number has meaning. That's a key part of quantitative variables is you can say something has a number, but it doesn't necessarily have a meaning. Think about a number on a, um, on a jersey, a football jersey. Does a player who has a number one, um, is that uh, actually a, a quantitative variable where you can do something with it? Like how much or how many of something there is? It isn't. So sometimes when you try to figure out uh, quantitative or qualitative, um, you know, it doesn't exactly fit into categories maybe, but maybe it doesn't ex exactly fit into quantitative either. Now our first one here. Now the ones I picked for examples, they pretty well fall into one or the other. Um, first one, classify the variable as qualitative, like categories, or quantitative. Hair color, we already said is a category, so this would be qualitative. Classify the variable as qualitative or quantitative. Number of pets. Well, obviously the number of pets refers to an account, like how many of them do you have, so that's quantitative. Social security number. Well, think about the, it's, it's a number, but does it count something? Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, so this would be qualitative. It's not exactly a category either, but it's not a number that has any kind of meaning in that. Um, and again, some of these aren't so clear-cut. Another person might argue that it's, it falls this way or that way. That Social Security number is one I pulled out of an old uh, statistics book, and they they did, uh, described it as qualitative. Um, let's see, assessed value of a car. Obviously, that's a number that has meaning, so that would be quantitative. Now we got um, two more definitions here, ordinal variables, qualitative variables whose categories have a natural ordering. And then we also have nominal variables where you got qualitative variables whose categories have no natural ordering. Um, if you think about uh, qualitative like a uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, um, those are not numerical, but um, they do have a natural ordering. You know, freshman first, and then sophomore, and so forth. Now, um, ones that have no natural ordering. Uh, well, hair color. If you say um, redhead versus brunette versus black hair, so forth, can you order them in any sense? No, there's no there's no ordering. Size of cars has a natural ordering. Um, maybe you got a compact, and you got a midsize, and you got a luxury. So that you know you can break it down in that manner. Now we got uh, discrete variables and continuous variables. Discrete variables is quantitative variables whose possible values can be listed. Now list may be infinite, um, and the, a big part that applies not on every example, but really does help you think of this is the idea of does it have decimals. Um, we'll talk more about that in some examples. Now continuous variables, quantitative variables that can take on any value in some interval. Possible values of a continuous variable and not restricted to any list. And I put here can have decimals. Uh, for example, uh, water dripping out of a faucet. Well, 
Um, it's not going to drip exactly like one gallon. It might be 1.2 gallons. But if I was able to measure it at a finer level, it might be 1.23 or 1.235. So you can keep on breaking it down further. Discrete va uh, variables. Um, how many dogs do you have? Well, three dogs. Um, probably wouldn't have decimal. You probably wouldn't say, well, I had 3.5 dogs. Um, 2.7 cats. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Now, these kind of get um, kind of mixed up. Uh, some things are really discontinuous, but we treat them as discrete, possibly even vice versa. Let's look at our first example here. Determine the quantitative variable is discrete or continuous. Amount of oil in a car at any given time. Are you always going to have uh, five, um, five quarts? I was going to say five gallons. Obviously, I don't know very much about cars. Are you always going to have five quarts or six quarts of oil? No, it might be 5.2 quarts. And if you could measure it even finer, it might be 5.23. So you can see that it has decimals. This would be continuous. Okay, number of deer in a forest. Is it discrete or continuous? Well, you could have five deer. You could have seven deer. You're probably not going to have 7.2 deer. Um, that doesn't make any sense, does it? So we'll treat that as discrete. This one, age of a student. I always kid people in, in class about this because um, I, I ask them what their age is. And maybe they say they're 20 years old. I tell them they're lying to me. They look at me kind of strange. This is <laughs> sometimes a little bit uh, irritated. It's like, I'm not lying. What are you talking about? Think about it. If I say I'm 20 years old, what am I saying? I'm saying I was born on this day, this hour, this second, uh, this millisecond. You know, all that broken down. And I could even break it down even further. They're not really 20. They're more like probably what 20.235 and so forth. So actually it would be continuous. Because again, there's an infinite number of values between 20 and 21. We could keep breaking it down further and further. How do we treat it though? If somebody told you that they were 20.35 years old, you look at them weird. It's like, what do you mean decimals? Um, we treat it as discrete. So this is one where... If you were doing a study, you'd want to specifically spell out um, if, you, if you're going to treat it as discrete or continuous. Um, and you know, I can see cases um, both ways, which one you know, might make more sense to have decimals here. It might make more sense to treat it as discrete. Temperature of the water in a swimming pool. Well, think about it. Is your water always going to be like 80 degrees? Um, or could it be um, 80.2 degrees or 80.25? Obviously, this one has decimals. This would be continuous.